definitely is uh, Liesel. He goes by the name of Tselafani. He is uh, the Medisha family spokesperson. Tsela, thank you so much for uh, joining us on the show. First and foremost, condolences to you and the family from our side. Um, but how has the family been coping with the death of uh, their son and your brother? Uh, good morning to me. Good morning to the viewers. Um, I must say, as you can imagine, the trauma that the family was going through, uh, and later on the uncertainty mm. as to the whole process as it, it unfolded. Mm. It was very tough to take as a family. I mean, are you able to take us through what really happened? Because, I mean, we heard of the news of um, Madisha or Majeka Madisha passing on, and then there was a statement that was sent out by Mamelodi Sundown saying that, please, can you give the family uh, privacy? What happened um, from that time on to right now when the family decided to send out a statement and confirm the passing of uh, Majeka? Well, I think it is of utmost importance that to me we should uh, uh, convey our gratitude to uh, uh, Mamelodi Sundown's management um, um, because uh, they've been with the family from day one. I mean, everything that we went through, they were there uh, giving moral support. Everything that the family needed, they were there mm. all the time. And also, um, not forgetting Houting MEC of Education, that Delhi Sufi, has also been there from day one supporting the family. But 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 you know what we went through? It's it's something that we we do not wish for even your your worst enemy mm -hmm. because we went through a lot, as I mentioned earlier that. You know the, the the trauma that we went through, and 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 it was later followed by the uncertainty, not knowing whether it was Mujeka who actually was involved in the accident or not, and we we had to wait, uh, especially for from the the um, government laboratory services, the SAPS, they were sending us from pillar to post uh, until eventually. Um, Mamelodi Sundowns came through to help the family so that we can get closure. Um, uh, the, the outcome that we have in terms of the DNA results are as a result of the, 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 the private lab that we, we, we had to take that, that route mm -hmm. simply because in terms of government laboratory services, we were going to wait forever, mm -hmm. I must say. So it is as a result of the the, the private lab that we now as a family can get some closure that, you know, we can finally lay Mojega to rest mm. on the 6th. I mean, you've had to wait for almost two months um, to get this clarification from the family side. Um, while you were waiting, were you still hopeful that perhaps you might get positive news back? Yeah, definitely, because it was, as you can imagine, it was difficult to take as what actually happened. Was it was it Mujega that was in the in the vehicle, or who was in the vehicle, who was driving the vehicle? We were not sure. So I mentioned the uncertainty as a result of that. So we were not sure, and all this time we were hoping maybe it wasn't him that was involved in that horror, horror car crash. Mm. Mm. I mean, we know that he was very close with his mother. Um, now with the news that, you know, the DNA confirming that it was him, how is she doing? Yeah, it's, it's, it's very tough for her and for the whole family as well. The father is also going through a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it's very tough. It's very tough. Has the family been in touch with um, the sports ministry? Has the sports minister reached out to the family um, in terms of also assisting during this difficult time? Not really. But, but you know, the, the people that assisted us, as I mentioned, uh, our gratitude goes to um, uh, Houting MEC of Education. But Telesuit has been there with the family, has been communicating with us from day one has been there to offer support and and and, and again sometimes has also been there but other than that no one no one no one was there with the family 
And from your side, um, how would you like to celebrate the life of um, Madisha in terms of just remembering him um, in the way that he lived his life? Yo. Hey, to me, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult to say because to us, it's, it's a life cut too short. Mm. And we were still expecting a whole lot from Mujeka. We were expecting a whole lot coming from him. I mean, he's, he was actually very humble. He, he's, he was a, a people's person all the time. I mean, the community here at Ramadi Shalolo can attest to that, that he was a people's person. He could get along with just about anybody. So it was actually tragic. It, it, it came as a shock to everybody around here. Mm. And uh, to those that followed his career, his fans at Mamelodi Sundowns, is the message that you guys are sending out from the family? Uh, it's a difficult one, that one to me. Mm. It, it's a difficult one because for now the family is con concentrating on um, um, laying Mujaga to rest and give him the dignified burial that he deserved. So that's what we are focusing on right now. Zilla, thank you so much for your time, and uh, I hope that God is with you through this uh, difficult time. Um, we do know that uh, that funeral is uh, happening next week. That is the 6th of February. That is the spokesperson of the Madisha family, Zilla Fani, just uh, letting us in on how the family is uh, coping with the, or during this difficult time.